Discover the secrets of forex trading and learn how to get started in this exciting financial market. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. In this video, we will cover the basics of forex trading so you can get started with confidence. We will explain what forex trading is and why it is such a popular investment option. We will also discuss the key terms and concepts you need to know. This will include currency pairs, pips and leverage. Finally, we will go over the platforms and tools you can use to trade forex. By the end of this video, you will have a solid foundation to begin your forex trading journey. The forex market is the largest and most liquid financial market in the world, with a daily trading volume of over 6 trillion US dollars. Currencies are traded in pairs, such as the Eurowas, dollar, Eurostar, British, pound, Japanese, yen. The first currency in the pair is called the base currency, and the second currency is the quote currency. The price of a currency pair represents how much of the quote currency is needed to buy one unit of the base currency. For example, if the euro's pair is trading at 1.20, it means that one euro is worth 1.20 US dollars. A key concept in forex trading is the pip. A pip is the smallest price movement that a currency pair can make. For most currency pairs, a pip is equal to 0 0.1. Leverage is another important term in forex trading. Leverage allows traders to control a larger position with a smaller amount of money. For example, with a leverage ratio of 101, you can control a position worth 100,000 US dollars with just 1,000 US dollars. While leverage can increase potential profits, it can also increase potential losses. It is important to use leverage carefully and to always have a risk management strategy in place. Forex trading is conducted over the counter OTC, which means that trades are made directly between two parties rather than through a central exchange. This allows for 24-hour trading five days a week. There are several types of forex orders that traders can use to manage their positions. A market order is an order to buy or sell a currency pair at the current market price. A limit order is an order to buy or sell a currency pair at a specific price or better. A stop loss order is an order to close a position at a specific price to limit losses. Forex trading platforms are software applications that allow traders to access the Forex market and execute trades. Some popular Forex trading platforms include MetaTrader 4, MT4, MetaTrader 5, MT5 and T5, and Crader. These platforms offer a range of features, such as real-time price quotes, advanced charting tools, and automated trading capabilities. Many brokers also offer mobile trading apps, so you can trade Forex on the go. Look for a broker that is regulated by a recognized financial authority, such as the Financial Conduct Authority, FCAA, in the UK, or the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, in the US. A good broker will offer competitive spreads, a range of trading instruments, and excellent customer support. Some brokers also offer educational resources such as webinars and trading guides to help you improve your trading skills. When you are ready to start trading, you will need to open a trading account with your chosen broker. Most brokers offer different types of accounts such as demo accounts, standard accounts, and premium accounts. A demo account allows you to practice trading with virtual money before you start trading with real money. This is a great way to get a feel for the forex market and to test your trading strategies without risking any capital. To open a trading account, you will need to provide some personal information and submit identification documents. 
Once your account is approved, you can deposit funds and start trading. Successful Forex trading requires a good trading strategy. A trading strategy is a set of rules that you follow to make trading decisions. Your strategy should include criteria for entering and exiting trades, as well as risk management guidelines. There are many different trading strategies to choose from, such as trend following, breakout trading, and range trading. It is important to choose a strategy that suits your trading style and risk tolerance. Technical analysis is a popular method used by forex traders to analyze price movements and identify trading opportunities. This involves studying historical price data and using charting tools to identify patterns and trends. Common technical analysis tools include moving averages, support and resistance levels, and trend lines. Many traders also use technical indicators such as the Relative Strength Index, RSI, and the Moving Average Convergence Divergence Divergence, um, AACD, to help them make trading decisions. Fundamental analysis is another approach to forex trading. This involves analyzing economic data and news events to predict future price movement. Key economic indicators to watch include interest rates, inflation, and employment data. Many traders use a combination of technical and fundamental analysis to make informed trading decisions. It is important to stay updated with market news and to always be aware of the factors that can affect currency prices. When it comes to forex trading, it is important to be aware of the advantages and disadvantages. This will help you make an informed decision about whether forex trading is right for you. One of the main advantages of forex trading is the high liquidity of the market. The forex market is the most liquid financial market in the world, which means that you can easily enter and exit trades. Another advantage is the ability to trade 24 hours a day, 5 days a week. This allows you to trade at a time that suits you, whether it is during the day or at night. Leverage is another benefit of forex trading. Leverage allows you to control a large position with a small amount of money, which can increase your potential profits. However, leverage can also be a disadvantage. While it can increase profits, it can also magnify losses, so it is important to use leverage carefully. The forex market is accessible to everyone. You do not need a large amount of capital to start trading, and many brokers offer low minimum deposits and demo accounts. One disadvantage of forex trading is the high level of risk involved. Currency prices can be very volatile, and it is possible to lose more than your initial investment. Another disadvantage is the complexity of the market. There are many factors that can affect currency prices, and it can take time to develop effective trading strategies. Here is a case study related to the Forex trading basics for beginners. Sarah, a 30-year-old from Manchester, decided to start Forex trading to supplement her income. She began by educating herself through online courses and reading books on Forex trading. Sarah opened a demo account with a reputable broker regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, FCAA. She practiced trading for three months, using virtual money to test her strategies. Once she felt confident, she opened a live trading account with a small deposit and started trading with real money, carefully managing her risk and using leverage wisely. If you are new to forex trading, it is important to start by educating yourself Take advantage of free online resources, such as courses, webinars, and trading guides, to build your knowledge. Next, open a demo account to practice trading without risking real money. This will help you get a feel for the market and test your strategies before you start trading with real money. When you are ready to trade with real money, start with small deposit and use leverage carefully. Always have a risk management strategy in place to protect your capital. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.